Hello guys, it's Dasha, welcome. So yeah, this is the makeup that you guys requested last time. I was supposed to have uploaded last week, but uh, I filmed a video and didn't really like it, so I just decided to make it again. Um, so this is a finished look. So today's makeup is all about shimmer, glow, bronze, and all the like glowy, glowy thing. It's a little bit different to the makeup that I did for the first time. The makeup that I did before was a little bit kind of like naked kind of look, but I wanted to put a little bit of more makeup and make me look like I'm actually wearing lots of makeup. So yeah, this is what happened. And plus I wanted to try really trendy lip, uh, lollipop lips. I talk too much, so let's try it! So now I'm going to apply my favorite YSL Tushy Club Primer. Peach Light Strop Cream. So today's makeup will be like super glowy, dewy, shimmer, bronzer, and stuff. So I'm going to put max drop cream and it will give me like really pretty like healthy peach glow so for the base i'm going to use nas sheer glow foundation i just put it in a small container because it's just easier for me to carry it around this much will be enough i recently really like this brush this is a uh, mead muse only brushy <laughs> white edition and number is 174 precise contour brush so it's supposed to be a contour brush but i use it as a foundation brush it's also it's perfect size to uh blend concealer under your eyes uh i'm just going to it's pretty dark on me honestly but because i want to give like sun kissed look like kind of like tanned and bronze look so i'm just going to use a little bit like darker shade than what i actually have okay this much of coverage will be very enough for my makeup today so this is tarte maracuja concealer in shade medium okay it's like so quick using this brush perfect okay next i'm going to set my makeup and um i'm not going to do baking um i'll just grab a pressed powder this is Lancome Team Miracle, it's really sheer natural finish kind of powder. Just with the same brush, I'm just going to press onto under my eyes. Set concealer. Okay. I'm going to use Kat Von D Light and Shade palette and also going to grab the same brush. Okay. I'm just going to contour the whole of my cheeks. Let's do it a little bit more. I usually don't use this type of like tiny brushes to contour my nose, but I wanna try it. So the bronzer that I used for the last makeup was this one. It's like so pigmented, like it's crazy. It's too powdery. So you really need to relax your wrist. Okay. Oh, I picked up like really small product and still, oh, this is so beautiful. I think they don't sell this palette anymore. Let me check the website because last time I remember I checked their website and they do not have it oh she actually just released deluxe edition what about the old one do they still have it nope they don't okay next i'm going to pick up this shade and put a little bit higher closer to it like top of the cheekbone just gonna blend it Oh wow, this brush actually hurts. Oh my god, this is beautiful. <gasps> it's beautiful. Okay, this brush is like kind of hurting my face. So I'm just going to grab another bigger brush. And blend everything over again. 
Now I'm going to mix this two shades. Just going to apply on the top of my nose bridge. Oh! Okay, it will make me look like I got really like nice tan, like a little bit of like sunburn kind of thing. Also, let's grab again the brown shade a little bit and put a little bit on my forehead. I don't really need to contour my forehead because I don't have a big forehead. They're pretty small, but I still want to give like a little bit rounded look because they're a little bit flat-ish. Okay, next, grabbing this shade. I'm going to put one more time on the top and I'm going to swipe under my eyes as well. I'm grabbing this a little bit of like caramel kind of shade and I'm just going to put on my crease and blend back and forth. Just like swipe it kind of. And this is like really perfect base color. I think I'm gonna try with this one. Okay, I'm going to just define outer corner and inner corner. This is pretty color. I don't know I never used it. It's triple fudge shade from Too Faced Chocolate Palette. And I'm going to define my lower lash line. Yeah, just like this. I know it doesn't look good right now, but we will blend it. Same shadow that we just used before. Next, I'm going to grab this golden shade. This is like crazy pigmented golden shima shadow. And I'm going to put it in the inner corner over here. And I'm just going to blend this mess. And also we'll put on the brow bone as well. I still load a double wear eye pencil. Should I draw a little bit of Okay, next I'm going to apply mascara and this is my currently favorite mascara and what is it called? It's called Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara Advanced. So this one has like a little bit of kind of like tiny fiber that makes my eyelashes longer than I apply. And also it fixes my curl like really good. Um, they say it's not waterproof, but I say it's like smudge proof. Usually smudge proof does not work on me because they don't fix my artificial curls. So this one looks like perfect. Oops. I don't think it brings nice volume, honestly. Yeah, anyways, I like it. Is it really me or my eyes look like? They're a little bit tiny. Okay, I'm going to give a little bit of like inner corner up to him. And I'm just going to fill in my brows. Oopsie. Okay, but I still want to put a little bit more because I love being extra. So I'm just going to grab Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in medium and this is super tiny angle brush. I need to wipe it with tissue on. And I'm going to draw like tiny strokes on my eyebrows. Oh yes, perfect. I'm going to draw a little bit of uh, freckles. For the lips, last time I used the MAC Versi Color Stand Can Stop One Step. And this is the only product that I use on the lips. This time I want my lips to look like a little bit like lollipop kind of lip. Premium Matte Lip Color Jenna. I'm going to just apply on my lips straight. Oh, so pigmented like crazy. 
it's supposed to be like a smudged kind of look so I'm not going to define it perfectly and whichever what is left on the brush again I'm just going to just feel like jaw kind of like on the lip line on and a little bit over It makes my lips look huge. Oh. Okay. Whew. Okay, next I'm going to apply on the top this precious McMercy color. Can stop, one stop. Oh, it's way brighter. Uh, yeah, if you just don't do this lollipop leaves, this makeup will look more wearable, I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to wear this lollipop leaves outside. I don't think so. So, okay. After I put leaves, I feel like my other makeup is gone, like, is, like, disappeared. So, I'm going to put a little bit more bronzer again. Somebody needs to stop me. I'm just going, like, crazy extra right now. So yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I tried to talk as much as I could. I tried to give you lots of tips because I have a feedback that my videos are not helpful at all. Like, oh, that hurts. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any other requests, please let me know. Just comment down below. And um, if you like the video, please thumbs up. I'll see you next time.